I think that this work is very hard and not simple as we used to think. And because I like challenges and I always accept them, I believe that I'll become a student. First of all, I've been studying outside the country and I've, second, I've been traveling with my friends and myself. And uh, I've been facing a flight attendant profession while I've been traveling. And uh, I see what needs to be made up better and uh, what points are the advantages and disadvantages of the flight uh, attendant. And uh, I see myself in that position, what I can do the best and uh, create this service. Probably it will sound a bit funny, but a um, few times strangers came in to me and asked, are you a flight attendant? Well, not yet, I didn't think about this. But, well, it made some thinking of mine that maybe I should try that because I really love traveling and, well, people think that I could fit for that, so why not? The biggest motivation was uh, just my dream to fly and I always dream about flying and I love planes and I love, I know, every stuff what contains with, with uh, flying and I think that's the biggest motivation for me. I strongly believe that some people are born to have their place under the sun and some are born to find that place under the sun. So I'm the person who needs to find this place. I'm still searching. I will be so busy with people, but I used to smile, so it would not be hard for me. And I will enjoy it, really. First of all, you must get up early and uh, are not sleepy, uh, you must uh, take care of the people you are, which are on your aircraft. First of all, it cannot be ordinary and uh, secondly, it's, um, it's a day where you need to always search for perfectness because you need to be both a good actress and also to always to stay honest. So you always need to reach for perfection well and enjoy as much as you want to enjoy well crew members and another passengers. I actually have a lot of opportunity to meet, meet new people, to learn somebody, something new because all my own life women are learning something. You can never stop to be more better, to, more, to have more higher, some level, some knowledge. First of all, you have to rest enough to get ready, put makeup, be sure with your uniform. Well, then check out the, the site where you're going, what needs to be done. And yeah, then probably going to the airport, getting on board, meeting your team. Yeah, that's about it. Of course, then it depends on your flight, how long it's going to be and where you're flying. And then, it, of course, it depends on where you're flying. I can imagine that uh, you wake up, you don't know wh wh which time, is it morning or is it evening? And uh, then you go to the airport, you go through the, through the security and everything else. Then you're preparing in the airplane for the, for the flights, for the, for, the, for the customers. And uh, then you're giving the service and, uh, and flying to the destination and enjoying the, the new, new city or country. Give for them confidence that they are safe and they will go to A to B plans. I think politeness is very important. Um, interest in people and willing to serve them, willing to understand them. Being a good team member and responsible, punctual as well. You have to be an optimist human to have a good quality, pure smile. And you have uh, to love that to fly. Well, I think rationality, because uh, working as a flight attendant uh, is very hard. Uh, because any work related to human safety assurance requires a lot of mental and uh, physical stamina. Uh, so I think that rationality, self-confidence and self-command uh, are the most important things. You need to be communicative, uh, 
talkative person, uh, physically and psychologically fit, and uh, smiley, uh, easygoing. You need to find that uh, middle between being good actress and between being all the time honest with people and with the crew. So you need to know how to hide your bad emotions uh, and still, well, not to lie, not to, not, nor not to yourself, not to anyone in the play. I believe that there's nothing hard than, than your job is your passion and, uh, and everything should go where, very well. The hardest thing, to be honest, I don't think there are any disadvantages. To keep always uh, an eye on people, that to be safe. Probably working shifts. It might be quite hard to, well, to sleep in the daytime or at night time in different times. The chance of, uh, of doing something wrong and causing the, 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 the issues for, for the customers, uh, I mean health or, or other issues. To cope with stressful situations. You need to find a contact and you need to find the way to talk, the way uh, to act yourself, uh, to make your voice tone lower or higher. So you need to find that contact which can work only with that passenger and I think it can be reached. I could explain for them. I could talk for a long time with my smile. I would try to contact him again, him or her, that, well, we are, I know, preparing to land or, or or so, that now it's very important that it might cause danger or something. But keep it in polite your way. First of all, I would explain to him that the most important thing is his safety and uh, he must to do all my commands on the aircraft. And I will explain to him in a kind way, not an angry way, and my smiling face. There might be people who are flying the first time, so maybe they just don't know what it's going to be like. So I think uh, flight attendant is for giving information, for safety, and yeah, serving them to enjoy the flight. The flight process wouldn't go without flight attendant. You, okay, you have a pilot, the second pilot, but how, how can the passengers be be in the in the right places and you need to manage them to, to to see how things going and is it safe and and good for a flight well the most important thing that flight attendant must do is taking care of the passengers and uh, be kind to them and uh, serve them and uh, of course uh, make them to leave the aircraft in a good mood because it's like an airplane hands. So he keep uh, everything organized and uh, I think it's like a human body. So the plane is for the pilots and the, body, uh, the hands can do the required, body required for him, so that's why. Only one person in the plane maybe who, who can uh, change something in that moment. First of all, because for safety, Secondly, because for perfect atmosphere and, well, 100% pleasure in the plane. <laughs>